After about two years of being closed, the New Road Family Park was officially reopened to the public on Monday. More in this report. Government officials and residents of the area were among those in attendance on Monday afternoon for a ceremony to officially reopen the New Road Family Park. The park had been closed for about two years due to COVID restrictions and then to address problems of erosion and stability. With some assistance from the Republic of China, Taiwan, the erosion was addressed and new equipment has been installed. Addressing the gathering, Resident Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan, His Excellency Michael Lin, said their involvement in the reconstruction of the park is an indication of their commitment to help improve the lives of the people of the Federation. In 2014, the government of Taiwan and its uh, people financed this park to the people of the Federation to highlight the long-standing friendship between our two countries. After all these years, the equipment and facility were aged and fade away and need to be replaced. But the friendship will never fade away. This is why we decided to once again finance the renovation of this park to further strengthen our commitment to improve the quality of life of petition and division. Parliamentary representative for the area, the Honorable Marsha Henderson, encouraged the public to make use of the amenities. But it's more than a pretty park. It's a park where you can come on the weekend and on wine. You can come here at afternoons and exercise. You can come with your family and just sit and relax. And this is in keeping with our government's our objective, as we said when we campaigned, to provide green spaces for or residents. And so this afternoon, it is indeed an, a pleasure. Minister of Social Development, the Honorable Dr. Jeffrey Hanley, said leisure spaces are important for national development as they promote self-care for both adults and children. Self-care is now a cornerstone of personal and professional development. As our people continue to be our greatest and most prized asset, for development and export, it is imperative that we provide safe spaces for children to be children as fun and play are critical in child development. The reconstruction and upgrade of the park cost just over 300,000 U.S. dollars. Ministry officials have encouraged families to make use of the new park as the playground offers recreational space for children and a gym and walking path allow adults to engage in healthy activities. Jason Davis for ZIZ News.